Have you ever felt uncertain about your ability to make decisions or doubted your capacity to handle life's challenges? Are you seeking a path to greater self-assurance, one that allows you to trust in your own capabilities and judgment? In this video, we will explore the profound wisdom of Buddhism to guide you towards a deeper understanding of self-confidence and self-trust. We'll uncover 10 valuable lessons from the art of saying no to embracing the small victories in life that offer practical and powerful steps to enhance your confidence and inner strength. Now, on to our video. Confidence, a profound trust in oneself and one's ability to achieve, plays a pivotal role in our lives. It empowers individuals to pave their path to happiness, driven by pride in their hard-earned accomplishments. However, they also comprehend the value of balance and the art of saying no when overwhelmed. Confident individuals are not only assertive but also great listeners, as they recognize the opportunity to learn from others. This trait extends beyond personal life. It is equally indispensable in one's career. The teachings of Buddhism provide profound insights that can serve as a compass on the journey toward self-confidence. Lesson 1. Practice Self-Compassion Being kind to yourself is akin to sowing the seeds of love and warmth within the depths of your own heart. In the realm of Buddhism, this practice is referred to as metta or loving-kindness, and it all commences with you. Picture yourself enveloped in a comforting embrace, a gesture that underscores your inherent worthiness as you are, free from the need to transform into someone else or attain further accomplishments. This act of kindness resembles the gentle rays of sunshine nourishing a delicate plant. Over time, it fosters your personal growth. As you extend kindness to yourself, something magical transpires. You begin to perceive your own goodness rather than fixate on your past errors or perceived flaws. Your focus shifts toward the positive facets of your being. This shift in perspective is akin to flipping a switch in a dimly lit room, illuminating the admirable qualities within you. As a result, your self-confidence begins to flourish. Treating yourself with kindness fuels your belief in your intrinsic value. It's akin to replenishing your confidence reservoir with a stream of positive energy. Being kind to yourself serves to muffle the inner voice of self-doubt that incessantly whispers that you're not worthy. It's akin to fitting your self-doubt with earplugs, silencing its discouraging refrain. Life is full of its share of highs and lows, but when you extend kindness to yourself, you fortify your resilience. It's akin to having a plush cushion that aids in your rebound from life's trials. Moreover, when you practice self-compassion, you naturally become more empathetic towards others, setting in motion a ripple effect wherein your positive energy radiates to those in your proximity, fostering a more harmonious environment. Kindness paves the way for you to authentically express yourself, akin to shedding a weighty cloak that conceals your true self. As a result, you gain greater confidence in showcasing your genuine identity. Treating yourself kindly isn't just a feel-good endeavor. It's a transformative force in bolstering your self-assuredness. Think of it as the act of nurturing a plant. Consistent care leads to its robust and flourishing growth. Similarly, by consistently practicing self-kindness, your confidence blossoms. Here's why you should make this a daily ritual. Much like a plant requires regular watering to thrive, your confidence thrives on the nourishment of self-love. Practicing self-kindness is providing your confidence with the nurturing it deserves. Picture your dearest friend going through a challenging phase. Wouldn't you extend kindness and support to them? Well, you equally deserve that same level of kindness. Treat yourself as you would your own cherished best friend. This act of kindness fosters a positive atmosphere within you, much like how a sunny day encourages the vibrant bloom of flowers. A positive mindset serves as the fertile soil for your confidence to thrive and flourish. Just as every flower boasts its own unique beauty, so do you possess your distinctive qualities. Being kind to yourself marks the initial stride towards recognizing and celebrating these distinct attributes and this celebration forms the very core of genuine confidence. 
Begin each day by sprinkling kindness upon yourself. It's not about pursuing perfection but rather embracing your unique self. Embrace your imperfections, revel in your triumphs, and witness as your confidence metamorphoses into a splendid and lively garden, resplendent with vibrancy. Lesson 2. Cease the habit of comparing yourself to others. Visualize a garden brimming with diverse flowers, each possessing its unique color, shape, and fragrance. In the teachings of Buddhism, we learn to cherish this individuality not only in flowers but also within ourselves. When you refrain from comparing yourself to others, it's akin to allowing your own flower to flourish without being overshadowed by someone else's. It's the realization that you are an unparalleled masterpiece. Frequently comparing yourself to others often gives rise to feelings of inadequacy. By putting an end to this practice, you begin to acknowledge your intrinsic worth exactly as you are. The perpetual act of comparison is akin to donning a pair of judgmental glasses, and when you remove them, you perceive both yourself and others without criticism. This liberation from judgment serves as a catalyst for boosting your confidence. Instead of fixating on your deficiencies, you begin to appreciate your blessings, akin to exchanging a magnifying glass for a wide-angle lens, enabling you to behold the grander scope of your life and feel gratitude. Just as every flower in the garden contributes to its overall beauty, similarly, the unique qualities of each individual contribute to the beauty of the world. When you let go of comparisons, you're celebrating your distinct qualities. Constant comparison can feel like an endless race with no finish line. Stepping out of this race brings inner peace, which serves as the bedrock of genuine confidence. Comparing yourself to others is akin to attempting to fit a square peg into a round hole. It simply doesn't align. Here's why shedding comparisons is crucial for confidence building. The moment you stop comparing, you realize that you are already whole, like discovering the missing piece of a puzzle that was never incomplete to begin with. People are naturally drawn to authenticity, just as bees are drawn to flowers. Embracing your uniqueness not only makes you more appealing to others, but also to yourself. Confidence, much like a flower, thrives when nurtured. Ending the comparison game is akin to providing your confidence with the sunlight and water it requires to flourish. Rather than feeling threatened by the success of others, you can genuinely celebrate it, akin to being part of a beautiful garden where each flower's blooming is a cause for joy. Life is not a competition, it's a journey and everyone traverses their own unique path. When you cease comparisons, you embrace your personal journey and this acceptance fuels your confidence. So, take a moment today to appreciate your own place in the garden of life. Stop comparing and start celebrating, and observe how your confidence unfolds, like a petal unfurling in the sunlight. Remember, you are a unique masterpiece and the world is enriched by your bloom. Lesson 3. Confront your fears. Picture fear as a looming, dark cloud that occasionally casts its shadow upon us. In Buddhism, we are taught that confronting our fears is akin to allowing sunlight to penetrate that cloud. It's about summoning the courage to stand tall, even in the face of daunting circumstances. When you confront your fears, you're not just overcoming them, you're also fortifying yourself, growing stronger and more self-assured. Facing your fears can be likened to lifting weights for your inner self. The more you do it, the more robust your inner strength becomes. This inner strength forms the sturdy foundation of confidence. Visualize your comfort zone as a snug blanket, and confronting your fears is like taking a step beyond that cozy enclosure, revealing a broader and more exhilarating world. Confidence flourishes outside the comfort zone. Self-efficacy, or the belief in your capacity to handle challenges, takes root when you confront your fears. By facing your fears, you demonstrate to yourself that you are indeed capable, and this belief propels your confidence forward. Life is replete with unexpected twists, and confronting fears is akin to donning resilient armor. It may not render you invincible, but it equips you to rebound when life hurls curveballs your way. 
Resilience is an intimate companion to confidence. Fear often conceals our true potential, akin to a treasure buried beneath the ground. When you confront your fears, it's akin to unearthing that treasure. You unearth strengths you never knew existed. Avoiding fear is like seeking shelter from the rain. You may stay dry for a while, but you miss the beauty of dancing in the rain. Here's why confronting fears is an essential step in cultivating confidence. Just as a tree grows stronger in the wind, your confidence flourishes when confronted with challenges. It's during the storms that the most resilient trees take shape. Fear often deceives us into underestimating our own strength. When you face your fears, you unveil the superhero within, the one with the power to overcome obstacles. Confronting fears can be likened to attending school for life lessons. You may stumble, but each challenge imparts valuable wisdom. Learning from these experiences is the foundation of confidence. Regret feels like carrying a burdensome backpack, but when you confront your fears, you lighten that load. The liberation from regret serves as potent fuel for confidence. Much like a yawn can spread through a room, courage is contagious. When you confront your fears, you inspire others to do the same, becoming a beacon of confidence for those around you. So, the next time fear knocks on your door, don't hide. Open the door, gaze fear in the eye and take a courageous step forward. It's not about being fearless, it's about displaying bravery despite the fear. Remember, courage is the key that unlocks the door to confidence, and that key lies within you. Lesson 4. Engage in activities you excel at. Visualize your skills and talents as radiant stars within you. Buddhism encourages us to direct our attention towards these stars, to partake in activities that make them shimmer. When you engage in activities you excel at, it's akin to illuminating the spotlight on your unique abilities. It's not about being the absolute best. It's about recognizing and nurturing what sets your talents aglow. This recognition serves as the cornerstone of building confidence. Performing tasks you excel in is akin to giving yourself a well-deserved pat on the back. It serves as a reminder that you possess skills and talents worthy of celebration. This acknowledgement establishes a sturdy base for self-assuredness, much like a mirror reflects your image. Engaging in activities you excel at reflects your positive self-image. It's akin to viewing yourself in the most favorable light and appreciating your intrinsic worth. Success begets success. When you involve yourself in endeavors where you shine, it triggers a snowball effect. Each accomplishment becomes a stepping stone, fueling your motivation to embrace new challenges. Imagine engaging in something you love. It's akin to savoring a delightful meal for your soul. Pursuing activities in which you excel brings forth joy and satisfaction, vital ingredients for a confident and contented life. Just as a fingerprint is one of a kind, so are your talents. When you immerse yourself in tasks you excel at, you reinforce your identity leaving your distinct signature on the canvas of life. Sometimes, amidst the clamor of the world, we forget our own radiance. Here's why engaging in activities you excel at is a straightforward yet potent strategy for building confidence. Similar to how hitting the gym strengthens your muscles, doing things you're good at is a workout for your confidence, the gym for your self-belief. You don't have to scale Mount Everest to boost your confidence. Begin with the familiar hills, the things you already excel in. It's akin to taking the initial step on a journey toward the pinnacle of confidence. Engaging in activities you excel at isn't about surpassing others. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. Celebrate your uniqueness and confidence will naturally blossom. Just as a magnet draws metal, joy attracts confidence. When you partake in activities that bring you joy, you create a magnetic field that beckons confidence. Engaging in activities you excel at isn't the final destination. It's a compass guiding you toward your strengths. Follow this compass, and you'll navigate the terrain of confidence with ease. Take a moment to contemplate what makes you shine, whether it's drawing, singing, or solving puzzles. Let your talents twinkle. Doing things you're good at is akin to dancing beneath your own spotlight. It's not about outshining others. It's about letting your unique brilliance illuminate the world. 
Lesson 5. Take pride in the small victories. Envision life as a sequence of steps, and in the teach, it involves acknowledging the effort you invest, whether it's akin to scaling a mountain or simply rising out of bed. This celebration holds the key to nurturing confidence. Taking pride in the small accomplishments is akin to donning a pair of glasses that perceives the world through a positive lens. It redirects your attention from what's lacking to what's already present, forging a mindset conducive to confidence. Life unfolds as a marathon, not a sprint, and commemorating the small victories is akin to marking each mile, recognizing the progress you've made. This sense of achievement bolsters your confidence for the long journey ahead. Visualize a garden where you value each flower, whether large or small. Being proud of the small things is akin to tending to this garden of gratitude, where you recognize the beauty in the everyday and feel thankful for it. Imagine small victories as building blocks that stack up over time. Taking pride in the small things is akin to constructing a tower of self-worth. It's not solely about its height, but the stability and strength it imparts. Picture a workplace where every effort is acknowledged. Being proud of the small things cultivates a culture of positivity, whether in the workplace, at home, or within yourself. This positive environment becomes the fertile soil for confidence to thrive. In the midst of life's hustle and bustle, we often overlook the small triumphs. Here's why being proud of the small things is a potent tool for building confidence. Visualize confidence as a magnificent mosaic, with each small victory serving as a unique tile contributing to the overall masterpiece. Celebrating the small things means appreciating the beauty of this mosaic, piece by piece. Rome wasn't erected in a day, and neither is confidence. Being proud of the small things lays the foundation for a grand structure. It may start small, but it grows into something substantial. Confidence is not a final destination, it's a journey. Taking pride in the small things is akin to reciting a daily affirmation, a reminder that you are deserving of celebration, regardless of the scale of your achievements. Life is a journey filled with twists and turns, and being proud of the small things is akin to relishing the scenic route. It's about finding joy in the journey, not solely fixating on the destination. This joy becomes the fuel for confidence. Your mindset is akin to a pair of glasses through which you perceive the world. Being proud of the small things is like donning a pair of confidence glasses. It shapes your reality and influences how you see yourself. Take a moment today to celebrate the small victories, whether it's completing a task, trying something new, or simply wearing a smile. Each small thing represents a step toward crafting a confident and positive version of yourself. Remember, confidence isn't solely found in grand accomplishments. It resides in the everyday victories that transform life into a beautiful journey. Lesson 6. Refrain from passing judgment on others. Envision a world where everyone dons glasses, but instead of offering clear vision, these glasses tint everything with prejudice. Buddhism guides us to remove these judgmental glasses and perceive one another without bias. When you abstain from judging others, it's akin to opening a window to understanding and kindness. It's about cultivating a world where everyone is embraced just as they are, thereby freeing yourself to grow more self-assured. Not judging others is akin to sowing seeds of compassion. It enables you to witness people's struggles and joys without criticism. This compassion functions as a mirror, reflecting back to you and nurturing your own confidence. Imagine a bridge connecting people. Not judging others is like fortifying the pillars of that bridge. It strengthens your connections with others, creating a supportive network that bolsters your confidence. When you cease to judge others, it's akin to lifting a weight from your own shoulders, creating room for self-acceptance. It acknowledges that you too are a work in progress, and this self-acceptance stands as the cornerstone of confidence. Judgment can be likened to a looming dark cloud that casts shadows over your well-being. When you refrain from passing judgment on others, it's akin to allowing sunshine to permeate your emotional landscape. 
This newfound clarity contributes to fostering a confident and positive mindset. Much like flowers flourishing in a well-tended garden, positivity thrives in a non-judgmental atmosphere. Abstaining from judgment is akin to tending to this garden. Cultivating an environment that nurtures your own confidence. Judgment can be likened to carrying needless baggage that weighs you down. This is why letting go of judgment is pivotal for confidence building. Envision confidence as a delicate flower. Refraining from judging others provides the fertile soil of acceptance, allowing your confidence flower to bloom and flourish. Just as laughter spreads like wildfire, positive energy is contagious. Not judging others is akin to becoming a carrier of this positive energy, infecting everyone around you, including yourself. Life is akin to a giant puzzle with everyone being a unique piece finding their place. Abstaining from judgment entails understanding that each person has their distinctive shape, fostering an appreciation for the diversity that completes the puzzle. Kindness behaves like a boomerang, it returns to you. Refraining from judgment is akin to casting out positive boomerangs into the world, which eventually return to fill your life with the warmth of kindness, thereby boosting your confidence. Judgment can be likened to a cage, confining you within negativity. Not judging others is akin to unlocking the door to this cage, liberating you and allowing your confidence to spread its wings and soar. So, challenge yourself today to view the world without judgmental lenses, it's not about attaining perfection. It's about embracing understanding and kindness. As you adopt this non-judgmental perspective, you create a space for your own confidence to thrive. Remember, a world devoid of judgment is a world where you can confidently be your authentic self. Lesson 7. Surround yourself with positive individuals. Envision life as a journey and the people around you as your fellow travelers. Buddhism underscores the significance of selecting positive companions for this voyage. When you encircle yourself with positive people, it's akin to having cheerleaders in your corner, offering support and encouragement. It's about establishing a circle where everyone aids each other's growth, laying the foundation for confidence. Positive people resemble rays of sunshine on a cloudy day. When you envelop yourself with their presence, it's like basking in their warmth. This elevated mood generates a positive atmosphere conducive to the flourishing of confidence. Picture a garden where flowers assist one another in blooming. Surrounding yourself with positive people is akin to cultivating such a garden. It fosters an environment where everyone is encouraged to grow and blossom, contributing to the development of your own confidence. Life has its storms and positive people resemble sturdy trees offering shelter. Encircling yourself with them is akin to finding refuge in trying times. This support system plays a vital role in sustaining and bolstering confidence. Much like a contagious laugh spreads joy, positivity is infectious. Being surrounded by positive people is like becoming a member of a laughter club. Their positivity rubs off on you, creating an atmosphere where confidence can thrive. Positive individuals have an innate ability to discern silver linings amidst the clouds of life. When you encircle yourself with them, it's akin to borrowing their spectacles to perceive life's challenges in a more optimistic light. This altered perspective contributes to nurturing a confident mindset. The individuals you choose to surround yourself with can significantly influence your life journey. This is why enveloping yourself with positive people is a pivotal step in the process of building confidence. Imagine confidence as a team sport and positive people as your teammates. Surrounding yourself with them is akin to having a supportive team that cheers you on, celebrates your victories and stands by you during setbacks. Conversely, negative people can act like energy vampires, sapping your positivity. Being surrounded by positive people is akin to wearing a protective shield against this energy drain, preserving and nurturing your confidence. There's wisdom in the saying that surrounding yourself with positive people is akin to choosing friends who uplift you. It's about intentionally shaping your environment to bolster your journey to confidence. Just as honey attracts bees, positivity attracts success. Encircling yourself with positive people is like setting up a honey jar. Success bees are drawn to it, 
enriching your journey and, in turn, your confidence. Shared joy resembles a cake that multiplies with each slice. Surrounding yourself with positive people is akin to cutting slices of joy together, creating a shared experience that adds layers to your confidence. Take a moment to reflect on the individuals around you. Are they adding sunshine to your journey? Surround yourself with those who uplift you, applaud your successes, and offer a shoulder during tough times. Remember that the people you choose to travel with can either make the journey a joyous adventure or a challenging path. Choose your companions wisely and let their positivity become the wind beneath your wings on your journey to confidence. Lesson 8. Embrace the art of saying no. Picture life as a buffet offering an array of dishes. Buddhism teaches us that it's perfectly acceptable to decline a dish if it doesn't align with your taste. Learning to say no is akin to being a discerning diner, selecting only what truly nourishes you. It involves setting boundaries to safeguard your time and energy, thus creating room for confidence to thrive. Saying no acts like a protective shield around your energy, preventing it from being sapped by activities that don't align with your goals. Preserving your energy proves crucial in maintaining a confident and positive mindset. Life is akin to juggling, and saying no is akin to catching only the most essential balls, helping you stay focused on your priorities and sidestepping distractions that might impede your confidence-building journey. Imagine stress as a backpack, loaded with unnecessary items. Learning to say no is akin to unpacking this backpack shedding the weight of unnecessary commitments. This lightening of the load reduces stress and contributes to cultivating a confident outlook. Saying no is like drawing a line in the sand, signaling to others and yourself that your well-being takes precedence. This act of self-respect lays the cornerstone for confidence, conveying that you value and honor your own needs. Life can be compared to a suitcase and saying no is like leaving behind items that no longer serve you. This creates space for experiences and opportunities that align with your goals, allowing confidence to unpack and settle in. Sometimes there's hesitation to say no due to fears of offending or disappointing others. However, learning to say no is an indispensable step in confidence building. Consider confidence as a garden, with boundaries acting as protective fences. Learning to say no is akin to erecting these fences, establishing a safe and nurturing space for your confidence to flourish. Life resembles a treasure hunt, and saying no is akin to focusing on discovering quality treasures. It's not about accumulating every item, but selecting gems that enrich your journey. Quality experiences contribute significantly to confidence. Much like riding a bike, saying no is a skill that improves with practice, it's not about being harsh or inflexible, but about refining the art of balance to navigate life confidently and smoothly. Visualize well-being as the heart of a tree and confidence as its branches. Learning to say no is akin to nourishing the roots, ensuring the tree of confidence remains healthy and vibrant. Saying no is like teaching others how to treat you. It empowers them to understand your boundaries and respect your choices fostering mutual understanding and contributing to a confident and harmonious environment. So the next time you feel overwhelmed or stretched thin, remember that it's perfectly acceptable to say no. It's not about closing doors, but about choosing the right ones. Learning to say no is a self-care practice that nurtures your confidence garden. Just as a well-tended garden flourishes, so does your confidence when you cultivate the skill of saying no when needed. Lesson 9. Find your voice. Picture your voice as a potent instrument. In Buddhism, they teach us that speaking up is akin to playing a melodious tune with this instrument. It's about giving voice to your thoughts and allowing your words to resonate. When you speak up, it's more than just uttering words. It's an affirmation of your existence and a contribution to the symphony of life. This act of self-expression is a pivotal factor in building confidence. Speaking up is like signing your name on the canvas of life, a declaration of your identity that makes your presence known in the world. This self-affirmation forms the bedrock for confidence. Visualize communication as a bridge connecting people. 
Speaking up is akin to reinforcing the pillars of this bridge, fostering connections, and creating a supportive network that significantly contributes to your confidence. Life is akin to a stage, and speaking up is akin to learning the lines of your script. It hones your skills in self-expression, enabling you to convey your thoughts and feelings with confidence. Speaking up is like removing a mask and unveiling your true self, fostering authenticity and allowing your genuine thoughts and emotions to surface. This authenticity lies at the heart of true confidence. Much like a ripple spreads across a pond, speaking up has a ripple effect, empowering others to do the same, thereby creating an environment where everyone's voices are heard. This shared empowerment fosters a confident and harmonious community. Speaking up may feel intimidating, especially if you're accustomed to staying in the background. However, it's a crucial step toward building confidence. Imagine confidence as a flower and speaking up as the sunlight that helps it bloom. It's through expression that your confidence thrives and becomes more vibrant. Just as a thief can steal precious belongings, silence can rob you of your confidence. Speaking up acts as a security system, deterring this thief and ensuring that your confidence remains intact. Visualize life as a town meeting, with your voice as an essential contribution. Speaking up is akin to attending this meeting and sharing your valuable thoughts. It reinforces the notion that your voice matters, a belief that is pivotal for confidence. Remember that confidence is not about being loud, it's about being assertive. Speaking up is the first step toward assertiveness, ensuring that your opinions and needs are not only heard but also respected. Silence can be likened to a blank canvas, open to various interpretations. Speaking up adds colors and details to this canvas, ensuring that your message is conveyed clearly. Clarity is a fundamental component of confidence, so do not hesitate to let your voice be heard, whether in a meeting, a conversation, or even in your own thoughts. Speaking up is a way of proclaiming, I am here and what I have to say matters. It's not about shouting from rooftops, but contributing to the symphony of life with your unique melody. Remember, your voice is a potent tool for building confidence, and the more you use it, the more confident and empowered you become. Lesson 10. Practice the art of listening. Visualize conversations as bridges connecting people. In Buddhism, they emphasize that taking the time to listen is akin to strengthening the pillars of these bridges. It involves being fully present, truly hearing others, and comprehending their stories. When you dedicate time to listen, it's not merely about hearing words. It's about building connections and bridges that enhance your own confidence. Taking the time to listen is akin to adding robust beams to the bridge of relationships. It fortifies the connection between you and others, forging a supportive network that nurtures confidence. Imagine empathy as a bridge that allows you to step into someone else's shoes. Taking the time to listen reinforces this bridge, fostering an understanding of others' perspectives. This empathy contributes significantly to cultivating a confident and harmonious community. Trust serves as the foundation of a bridge, and taking the time to listen is akin to ensuring this foundation remains solid, forging a trustworthy connection with others. Trust is a pivotal component of confidence. Life can be likened to a continuous conversation, and dedicating time to listen is akin to learning the language of this ongoing dialogue. It enhances your communication skills, enabling you to express yourself more effectively and confidently. Just as a well-constructed bridge supports the weight of traffic, taking time to listen supports the weight of emotions and ideas. It establishes a supportive environment where everyone feels heard and valued, contributing to your own confidence. Listening is often underestimated in a world that celebrates speaking. However, it is a potent tool for building confidence. Consider confidence as a tree, with connections as its roots. Taking the time to listen is akin to nurturing these roots, ensuring that your confidence tree grows strong and remains interconnected with others. Just as a map guides you on a journey, understanding guides you in building confident relationships. Dedicating time to listen is like studying this map, ensuring that you navigate the terrain of relationships with confidence. 
communication serves as a bridge, and taking the time to listen ensures that it functions as a two-way street. It's not solely about expressing yourself. It's about fostering a mutual flow of understanding that benefits both parties and contributes to shared confidence. Life resembles a river with occasional rapids, and dedicating time to listen is akin to acquiring the skills needed to navigate these rapids effectively. This skill simplifies conflict resolution, ensuring that disagreements flow smoothly, thus preserving your confidence. Consider conversations as classrooms and taking time to listen as attending these educational sessions. Through active listening, you gain insights into others, the world, and yourself. This continuous learning process fuels a confident and curious mind, so in your interactions with others, take a moment to genuinely listen. It transcends the mere act of hearing words. It involves understanding the melody behind them. Like a conductor orchestrating a symphony, your ability to take the time to listen contributes to the harmonious composition of confident and meaningful relationships. Remember, bridges are constructed not only by those who speak, but also by those who take the time to listen and truly understand.